Today we're going to talk about the installation process for AutoCAD 2012, which will be very similar to any other Autodesk product in the new release. First and foremost, Autodesk has announced that they're going to physically deliver their products on USB flash drives. So your individual product or an entire design suite that you've purchased will be installed on a single USB drive delivered to you. Additionally, the electronic software delivery service through the online download is still available for use. Once you have the installation available for use, execute that file and you're going to get the splash screen that we see right now. As you'll see, we have a one-click install option. This is going to allow us to accept all the default parameters and settings and proceed with the installation of AutoCAD 2012. We can also set up and create our deployments. Let me open that up really quick and define a deployment configuration name, an image path on your server, what your target platform version is going to be. I'm currently running a 64-bit operating system and it's detected such. If we want to include any additional software with the deployment, such as Inventor Fusion 2012, which is included with AutoCAD 2012 for, as a free standalone edition, and whether we run the installation in silent mode and create the log files during the installation on those individual machines. I'm not going to go into detail with the deployment settings in the installation as the variation is very little from past versions. So I'll go back. I can also go into the install tools and utilities option in which I can define that I need to set up and create network license manager. If I want to also install the Autodesk CAD manager tools with my installation and if I also want to include and define the settings for Autodesk Content Service. There's a lot of new features that take advantage of the content services in AutoCAD 2012. One of the key aspects that you need to keep in mind for this though is the files that are on your individual machine. If you want those to be accessible for the intranet, every machine that's on your server, or for just personal access in which only this local machine has access to the drawing files and content on this individual machine. I'll go ahead and collapse this category again. I'll leave the Autodesk CAD Manager tools there and remove the Network License Manager as I'm going to just install a standalone version at this time. I'll go back to the initial splash screen. Something else that I want you to pay close attention to is our ability to go to the README system requirements and installation help files. If I select README it's going to take me directly to the README contents of the installation help. If I select system requirements it will take me directly to the system requirements contents in the system help windows. Something new to AutoCAD 2012 installation is if I select installation help or system requirements or README it's actually going to take me into an internet browser interface. I can now go directly into deployment or installation, frequently asked questions, network administrator's guide, licensing guide, or troubleshooting the installation issues. Now once I've selected any of these categories, it's going to take me into the next window of the interface in which I can read all about the 2012 installation. Also note that I can go directly to product documentation and view the README, as well as the system requirements. Now the README file is going to contain all the details that you would need to know for extensions, plugins, and compatibility with your current settings and system. System requirements, whether you're running a 32-bit system or a 64-bit system, is going to allow you to identify whether or not the hardware and software that you're currently running can adequately support the AutoCAD 2012 software package. Since I'm running a 64-bit operating system in Windows 7 on my workstation, I want to review the options that I have available here and the minimum requirements that I should meet on my machine. I want to point out that due to the advanced visualization and analysis tools that are now included in AutoCAD, Inventor Fusion, and several of the other vertical software packages, Autodesk is recommending larger amounts of RAM for their software packages. The minimum requirement is 2 gigabytes as it has been for quite some time but you'll see in parentheses they've recommended within the system requirements for a 64-bit system 8 gigabytes of RAM. 
This is not necessary, but will drastically enhance and improve performance on your machine with the new advanced tools included in the software. Without going into too great of a detail, let me switch over to 32-bit workstation system requirements really quickly and note that instead of 8 gigabytes recommended, only 4 is, is the most a 32-bit operating system can handle to begin with. I suggest that at least the CAD manager, if not everybody installing AutoCAD on their machines, read through all of the options, read me information, system requirements, and frequently ask questions before installing AutoCAD. Let me go back to the AutoCAD setup and go ahead to the install. Selecting that will bring up the end user license agreement. I'm going to quickly scroll through the list of end user license agreement information. But I want to identify as I do this that you please read through and make sure that you're legally and technically within their rights in how you're using and distributing your AutoCAD licenses. Make sure you select I accept when completed and select next. Now I can define if I want to create a standalone license or work off of a network license. And for privacy concerns, I'm going to leave off the product information for serial number and product key and just say that I want to try this product for 30 days. The AutoCAD 2012 download is available currently, so feel free to go to autodesk.com slash AutoCAD to sign up for and download your trial version of AutoCAD 2012. Beyond that 30 day period of time, you will need a serial number and product key that you've purchased for a license of AutoCAD, regardless of it being a standalone or network option. I'll go ahead and select Next. Now I can define which software packages are actually going to be included in my AutoCAD installation. AutoCAD 2012 is a must, but I can expand and define if I want to perform a typical or a custom installation and what options I want included in that custom installation. Define if I want to include the express tools in the installation and if I want the desktop shortcut to be automatically created for AutoCAD 2012. As it's a brand new release, you shouldn't expect to have any service packs or updates available, so that should all be fine. I'll collapse this category and look really quickly at the Autodesk design review. If we want to include that, make sure the box is checked, and then also decide whether or not to include the desktop shortcut. And lastly, Autodesk Inventor Fusion 2012. I had mentioned it briefly before, but it, it previously was only available as an Autodesk Labs technical preview software. It's been graduated with flying colors and included as a free additional standalone product with AutoCAD 2012. Expand the options there to, if you want to include the plugin for AutoCAD 2012 for easy transportability between the two software packages and again if you want to include the shortcut on the desktop. Again, no updates or service packs are available at this time. I'll collapse this category. I'm going to go ahead and install AutoCAD 2012, Autodesk Design Review 2012, and Inventor Fusion 2012 in this installation. Make sure that your installation path is correct and that you have plenty of disk space on your machine before installing the software. Selecting Install will now begin the process of installing all software packages selected in the previous window. And with the magic of video editing, we are done with the installation. Just so I'm not pulling any smoke and mirrors on you, I want to be completely clear in how long the installation took. From the time I pressed the install button to the time that it completed and I saw this new splash screen, it took exactly 25 minutes on my machine. Now your experiences may vary depending on your setup. While you're waiting for about the, that 25 minutes for your software to install, it's a pretty good opportunity to go through the README and system requirements information. Although I'd highly suggest you even take a look at it before you even start the install. I'll go ahead and click finish and you'll see that it's going to ask me to restart my system. I'm going to select no. I'm going to manually restart here in a second. I just want to point out that Autodesk Design Review, AutoCAD 2012, and Inventor Fusion 2012 were installed successfully. That's the end of the presentation today. We'll have a lot more coming your way for all the 2012 products.